WTV Live at 5. If you like military history and memorabilia, then visit downtown Terre Haute. The Veterans Memorial Museum of Terre Haute was the idea of Brian Mundell. He started building the museum in 2010, and today it has hundreds of items and stories. Plus, there's a new feature which enhances a visitor's experience. Walking into the Veterans Memorial Museum of Terre Haute is like traveling in a time machine. Hundreds of pieces of military history and keepsakes of men and women who served the nation with honor, many with direct ties to the Terre Haute area. For Brian Mundell, the creation of the museum was a labor of love. Uh, we can never forget what these men and women have sacrificed for people like me who have never served. Virtually every item has a story behind it, and Brian knows about each display. That's impressive, but it's also a challenge. That's because he's not always there to tell the stories. So they have attached QR codes to almost 40 displays. The project was funded by Thompson Thrift because Paul Thrift wanted to help the museum. I was compelled uh, because I think it's really one of the best kept secrets in Vigo County. And Brian has done such a tremendous job of capturing memorabilia and collectibles from families, but not only as he captured and collected the memorabilia, but he's collected so many compelling stories. The process is pretty simple. Point a phone's camera at the code, and a photo of the display, a written description, and a voice plays. Other American soldiers serving in the Gulf. That's the voice of Vietnam Army veteran Jerome Treeweiler. He has several items in the museum, including this tiger stripe camo uniform. Narrating was an honor, and he wanted to help because after 50 years, Vietnam veterans are now treated with respect. It's a labor of love that this man did with this museum. They need to see it. There are so many stories, like this German site plan of the Stalag 9B prison camp, which was brought back to the States by Earl Van Skoik. There's also this large honor roll of those who served in World War II from Gersmeyer High School, with stars by the 70-plus men who were killed in action. So much to see, and so much inspiration, and now an improved way to learn more about so many hometown heroes. Yeah, and in the future, Mondell hopes to add QR codes to more displays. And for more information about this museum, we'll have a link for you on our website. Please visit it. It is very, very interesting. All right, still ahead in our next half hour of Live at Five, a look at our latest headlines, including a look into our Father's Arms Food Pantry in Sullivan as it works to rebuild. And U.S. law enforcement is at a heightened alert for what authorities are calling the most challenging threat environment since 9-11. All those stories and more next.